Hi, Antonio. So you sent me an email and you asked, my question is on SketchUp. I want to design my Ford Transit 250, but how do I get a model of the inside so I can design the van for shelving? Okay, well, let's show you how to do that. I'm in a blank SketchUp file and I'm going to go up here to the warehouse and I'm going to type in Ford Transit. And boy, there's a bunch of them. So let's see. If I want to take a look at one and see if it's what I'm looking for, I will click on one. And that's what it is. So let's give that one a try. If that doesn't work, we can try another one. I'm going to click on this download arrow and it'll ask me, do I want to load this directly into the SketchUp model? Yes or OK. Now there it is. Click. OK, so there is your transit model. I'm not sure if it's is exactly the one you have. But if not, you can search the warehouse there. Now, if you want to take a look inside of it, there's a couple of ways. You can click on the X-ray and that lets you hit the O key to orbit and that lets you look inside of it. You can also do a section of it. If you come up and grab section tool, so click on it, then hit the M key for move and then I will move it in and do a section there so I can take a look at the inside of it and see if that is going to work. If I want to do another section, I can come in this direction, hit the M key for move. Oh, you got to make it blue. It's the blue one you want to do. M key for move. And I can do that section. Then I can orbit around and look at it that way. And then I can turn them off so that you can see it without those big planes in your way and turn them off completely. One more thing, if you open SketchUp for the first time, you won't see a lot of these tools that I have. I've set SketchUp the way I like to use it. And to get those tools there, you click on View and then go to the very next to the bottom, you'll see Customize Toolbar. Click on that and that will bring up all of these tools that you can choose to put up there. The very first thing I do is this long bar down here. That is right there. You just drag it right up and drop it and it'll put it right there. The section tools, you'll find section display, section cuts, and section plane tool. And you just grab the tool and just drag it and drop it on your bar. So obviously I already had it up there, so it just moved it. And you can move them around and make it exactly how you want it. Or you spend a lot of time working out details on a model. See if somebody's already done one and uploaded it, at least one that you can start with. And you, all you have to do is go into your search and it's right within SketchUp. And then if I want a dado jig, type in D-A-D-O-J-I-G, enter. And then it gives me all these to choose from. And then I just click download and it puts it in the model. Antonio, thanks for the question. I hope this helps. If you like these SketchUp videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, but most important, share the channel with others. And if you want a set of my workbench plans, you can click on the link right here in the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.